The aim of regression is to be able to take a set of data from your two variables and ultimately to be able to come up with a way of estimating one variable given a value of the other. In other words, if I knew what the value of x was, I could come up with a decent estimate of what a value of y was, or vice versa. Now before we get into this, a couple of things I need to point out, and that is some terminology that is sometimes used in this area. The variable that we plot across the x-axis we normally call the independent variable, and the value going up the y-axis we call the dependent variable, because this data hopefully is dependent on this data. But we do also use two other names for these variables at this point. When we're talking about regression, often we call the value that is independent, that we're varying to see what happens, we call it the explanatory variable, because it should explain what is going on. The y value we call the response variable, because presumably it's responding to what we're changing. So now we've got that out of the way, let's think about how we could go about coming up with estimates of y if we knew a value of x, or vice versa. And hopefully you're thinking, hang on a minute, I've done this before, I need a line of best fit. And you're absolutely right. Now, when you were youngsters many moons ago, how did you do your lines of best fit? You did them by sight, didn't you? You'd have sort of tried to get half your points on one side of the ruler and the other half on the other side of the ruler, and that was good enough. Here comes the cat. She's so excited she wants to join in. Right, just have to get rid of the cat. She wants to be the star of the show. Then when you got to GCSE statistics, those of you who did it, we introduced you to the idea of putting the line of best fit through what we called the mean point. What you'd do is you'd find x bar, you'd find the mean x value, and you'd find the mean y value. Here comes the cat again. OK, let's try and continue without the cat interrupting this time. You're going to find what we call the mean point. You're going to find the mean x-coordinate and the mean y-coordinate. And you're going to plot that point somewhere on the graph. And then what you do is you say, right, I am going to put my line of best fit through the mean point. So I'm going to pivot it around and try and find the best place for it to go. Well, ladies and gents, what we do at A-level is try and improve on that method. What we're going to do, let, let's just take a line of best fit. Let's draw it on here. In fact, let's do it in red so we can actually see it. Let's say this is my line of best fit. The method we're going to use to come up with an even better line of best fit is what we call least squares regression. And basically, this is what we're going to try and do. By the way, you don't need to be able to explain this in great detail in the exam, but it would help you to understand where it's coming from. First thing you need to do, so let's take a look at this point here. Can you see that this point is actually quite a way off the line of best fit? There's an error in there. Okay. There's also an error for this point. It's not quite on the line of best fit. And there's an error here. And there's an error here. And there's an error here. Can you see all these points are actually off the line of best fit? The aim of least squares regression is to try and minimise these errors. So what we're going to try and do is move this line and put it wherever we can go to minimise the overall errors in here. Now if you remember back to when we've done standard deviation, what you should know is though, so if we added up all these errors and we've got the line of best fit in about the right place, the amount of error you have below the line will cancel out the amount of errors above the line. So we're losing a lot of information. So what do we normally do guys when we have positive errors and negative errors if you like or positive differences and negative differences that's right to get rid of that we square them hence the phrase least squares what we're going to do is we're going to put this line of best fit where the square of these differences is minimized 